Um, hello, Black Lotus. Some hot Blotus action. I like a little bit of Blotus in my life. Everyone agrees that's the correct nickname for this card, right? As Vodka Citrus Squeeze is not terrible. I'm going to want a follow-up drink, though. And there's only more, um, only more vodka in the house. I don't really have much of a mi for mixing right now. I've got some pears. I've got some pears in the fridge. I'm thinking about taking some pear syrup and mixing that with vodka. That could be good, right? Or I could make some, some uncaffeinated tea. Tea, I think, is an underrated mixer. I'm looking at Mishra's Bobble and Questing Beast out of this pack. A cool thing about Mishra's Bobble is if we end up with, like, Luris or something with the Black Lotus... This is another card that's going to play really well. It also doesn't commit me to a color like the QB does. Green tea and gin is great. I agree. I'm going to take the main of all tier. If we take in the questing beast, we'd be on Berserk plan, I think. Not quite a reason to commit just yet. Can turn one a fucking six drop in this, this start, huh? Espresso's a good chaser. Yeah, I, I've had a lot of caffeine already today, though. I'd like to taper off. Tea plus pear syrup plus vodka. Sounds like an excellent combo. Oh, you do all three. Yeah, maybe that'd be solid. How much longer am I going to stream tonight? Uh, I'm aiming for about 11 p.m. Wild Coyote. It's like 9 right now. We'll see. It's not an exact science. Sometimes uh, I'll go a little longer and or cut out a little early, but that's the, that's the aim. Please, Izzy. Hit me with the awesome news. Am I off tomorrow? No, I'm going to be streaming tomorrow, too. When Vintage Cube is around, I try and just take one day off a week. And uh, that was yesterday. Got a lot of nice adulting done. Went to a Brazilian steakhouse with a girlfriend. She'd never been to one before. And uh, she loved it. She had a great time. Meat on swords, what's not to love? I kind of like a mere battle sphere with the Banner Vault. I think we can just play it. Hey, congratulations, Izzy. That's very exciting. Yeah, it can be really hard, especially if like your friend group drinks a lot and such. Very big deal. Proud of you. Hey, more doobie. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for 86 months. Not on the same level at all. But this year, I've managed to quit soda, which I've been trying to quit for years and years. Finally, feels like I finally kicked it. Grim Monolith. Metamorph. Yeah, it's like this monolith, huh? Just like all the fucking fast mana. Uh, it's weird, but I kind of like Carnage Interpreter here. Or maybe the dragon. We just have so much fast man, I feel like we can dump our hands super quickly and then slam the carnage. Yeah, I think the dragon's more intuitive. But it doesn't draw four cards, is the issue with the dragon. This thing? Actually, what about E2 Dame? So the thing that I kind of like about E-Tutor here, I don't I don't really like adding another color, right? But we've got, like, Black Lotus and, like, awesome stuff to tutor up already. And then, um, if we get that Companion, we could find the Grim Monolith more, more often for Infinite. We're not necessarily red either, like we just have this Gold Span. Roy had exactly Mana Wargs. What about Sunfall? This card's sweet. Carnage is new to the cube. I think it's very good, too. I'm going to grab this once upon a time. Could be sweet if we end up with Academy. Turn one of Sunfall. Oh, yeah. Get him. Uh, 
Oh, interesting. Kitten, Mother of Runes, Talisman. Do we think this is a good kitten start? Feels good with a Grim Monolith and Man of All Time. Yeah, maybe I was uh, blue white the whole time as we passed the blue white talisman. Wait, there's an alien amp farm track on this playlist. One that I do not recognize. Is Alien Ant Farm putting out new music? It said that this was put out three weeks ago. That's a nostalgia hit. Very first uh, CD I ever bought was Alien Ant Farm. Am I going to trap myself with this workshop again? Should I try and wheel the workshop? Take like the dynamo first. Big to fairy for you. I don't need big to fairy. Get some walkers in with the cat. Yeah, sure. Mesa here, maybe. Wheel of Fortune's interesting. Talisman's interesting. Yeah, I um Yeah, this is the first album I ever bought. I remember on a soccer trip. Soccer road trip. We just listened to it like on repeat because the it was the one CD we had in the soccer van. <laughs> Has to be wheel with our mana. Well, we, the the thing about our mana is that we don't actually have fixing for red if we're base blue white. So I don't think it has to be wheel. Like we took the talisman over it. We didn't have the red source yet. Yeah, I'm gonna take Luris over uh, over fourth here. Hell of a card that fourth, but when you have Black Lotus Mission's Bobble, I think you're supposed to snap up that Luris, hum. Cool. I'm gonna take this uh, Mox Opal. It looks an awful lot like a just an actual Mox in this deck, doesn't it? A lot of nice artifacts. Is that infinite with Kitten? The Luris, Displacer Kitten, Black Lotus? It is, yeah. We pulled that off the other week. Using our opponent's Displacer Kitten. We had, like, metamorphed it. Looking at Jace and Cauldra Complete. We haven't seen Stoneforge Mystic yet, right? Although Jace is kind of cool with Luris. Loot something, rebuy it immediately. Lauren's not a bad card. Bleed with Displacer Kitten and what what. I didn't think it was the best card, though. It used to be that I would snap up that colonnade and be like really excited about fixing. But I think we had a Crocus hum. It's even good with my stuff. I can like save a creature and then Sunfall or something. Slam the pack, yeah, right? I'm gonna grab a oh shit. So the gadget here doesn't quite work with Grim Monolith. It needs basalt monolith. I'm just gonna take Karn here. More Planeswalkers for Cat to Blink. Gadgeteer is a good one. Not a lot for this Mystical Tutor to do. It'd be a lot better if we had like a draw seven or something. We could spec on it. And... Just thinking about like um, getting like a Recall or Time Walker or Tinker in pack three. The Brazen Borrower will for sure play though. Dynamo and workshops came back. So we've taken the dynamo, we would have wheeled the workshops. I think this is fine though. We ended up filling out and like not really being a workshop stack. The sweeper. I'm into it. You like the bodyguard the Luris? Eh. The bodyguard's just gonna be so bad if we draw it naturally. I like my cards to be good individually. I guess I'll take L Lauren over Cauldra Complete. Cauldra nice if they, uh, you end up with Stoneforge Mystic. <clears throat> yeah, if we were more creature-based deck, more threats, more targets for removal, then I would like the Bodyguard better. But it's going to be a 1-mana one 1-1 one, one, a lot here. 
Like, you draw a Mishra's Bobble without Luris, and you still draw a card. It actually helps you find the Luris. Oh, shit. Time walk into a stream. So the time walk's better with Jay's flashback. Twister's like really good with our ability to find Black Lotus though. And all our other fast mana. Pretty explosive. Whichever one we grab, it makes the Mystical Tutor a lot better, huh? You think it's time walk a thousand percent? That's a pretty big percentage. I kinda wanna take till the time twister to spite you now. You're so confident. thousand percent I don't know if I've ever been a thousand percent wrong before that's kind of, kind of a rush <laughs> so we need like three more playables this pang feeling pretty good about that might even get to move a uh, Lauren and the sweepers to the sideboard although I kind of like a, at least one of the sweepers staying in the main huh for the mystical tutor ooh I'm feeling the shark Makes that Mox Opal look a little better, huh? Haven't picked up an artifact in a bit. Thinking about Ancient Tomb. Not really a Factor Fiction deck, are we? I'm sorry, a Treasure Cruise deck. I was thinking the Factor Fiction could help set up the Treasure Cruise, but it's like my only card that does that. It's like Factor Fiction and maybe Jace Looting can set up the Treasure Cruise, but for the most part, our, our, our spells are like permanents that are staying in play, right? I think I take the Ancient Tomb here. Sick pack though, huh? Oko and Athari in there. Athari wouldn't be crazy. Spellseeker? <laughs> Spellseeker for a Mystical Tutor. That seems like a lot. A lot of hoops. Bit much. Yeah, there's that Stoneforge Mystic, huh? Damn. I kind of like the Soul Guide Lantern with Luris. It's like another cantrip. Don't need the Talisman either. Does the three in Dynamo do much? It does, yeah. I like those easy questions. Could take Headquarters. A little piece of fixing. Not a lot for Resto to blink. Dullspeth's not crazy. I'm going to take the Headquarters though. How did I miss Zerta the first time around? Oh, it was in a pack with Time Walk and Twist Aim. Sure. That's valid then. Is Infinite Mana even good here? Yeah, it's solid. Uh, yeah, that sounds right to me, Tashi Sam. I don't know what else it could be. Silly not lies. <laughs> yeah, to, to WP. Yeah. I think you will find that's not really a relevant difference, and you're just wasting salt. That's what I think. No, Caleb, don't take the bait. Don't do it, Caleb! Yeah, all of our doubles are white. And Talisman produces blue, Caracas produces... Yeah, but it was fine. You like no more lies? I kind of hate it here. We're like, the entire rest of the deck is a sorcery. We're like turboing out a board presence. I don't think a one, one counter spell solves anything for us. The downside of having this Zerta handy is that I don't think I can eat tutor for Lotus here.
Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I was planning on Zerda, Infinite Mana, Factor Fiction. I kind of like just foffing now for the like, counter spell for it or what have you. Uh, we can twist her, Fluffy Vase. Yeah, Jace. Couple of ways of getting things back. Lurus, three by Black Lotus. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff with our graveyard. Careful studies make me feel good about this Soul Guide Lantern, huh? Free Root Walla. What? Grixis Madness Aggro. Right. Just gonna untap Grim Monolith here. Oh, there we go. My last stirring got up the the bottom of it. There's a little bit of sweetness in there. So this can kill my Wandering Emperor or a 2-2. Two -two. However they want to do it here. Yeah, I gotta say, a Time Twister would be a much better draw here than a... Uh... A time lock. Come on, crack my lantern, actually, even though they might have graveyard stuff. Well, there's some more shit, huh? Okay. What would you like to do with your Liliana? Uptick? Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna lose the reanimator now, now that I lost my lantern. That is being a squee. Okay. Well, I got some blockers to help protect Liliana. No reason to flip our tokens on their end of turn. If they needed to dust, I would have flipped them both and sank the 1-1, one, one, but... No reason for us to burn that mana here. Oh, shit. It's kind of an exciting card. Doesn't let me clear the Liliana, though. I think I like attacking with Lily just with this one. And then post combat Sunfall. And we lose the shark, but we get like an incubation for four and an incubation for five. Seems very good to me. That was like a Dagzile or stupid detective thing. One less thinger to worry about.
One pack rat. They got the pack rat squee combo. They didn't have mana for a edict up, so. No reason not to make the 5 5 in their end of turn. You call that Squambo? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. How silly of me. Squambo. That's what everybody calls it, right? Would have been cool to get back Soul Guide Lantern to eat the Squee this turn. I think they want to ch chump to keep Lily around this turn. It's totally fine. We have plenty of Edict Fodder. Rat Combo or Rambo? Yeah. Yeah, Nuclear Tide. Overall, I like it a little bit less. Um, because I'm like not high on um, twin. It's not uh, not fun gameplay for me. With or against, but the pump stuff's cool and the Hagak stuff's cool. But the artifact stuff that they rotated out for it is also cool. Synergy based stuff. So I have mixed feelings. Why is the Squeed in their graveyard? Did they just not rebuy it? Oh, they discarded it to the Souls. Shame. So mine would be a six something or other. That's kind of cool. Copy the 5-5 five five methods from the 1-1 one one counters. I thought this was going to be like a bus driver track there for a second. Of course you do, Dagon Crow. You've got good taste. Hey, Beef Punch thinks the sod thinks the 32 months. Sweet. Sunfall was awesome there. I wonder if they're aggro enough for me to have enough sweep multiple sweepers or if just like Mystical Tutor for Sunfall is good enough. Looks like an E-Tutor for Black Lotus game to me, doesn't it? I'm gonna hit him again here. Now, my Laris! Put him just discarded Squee in anger. Sounds very corn influenced, doesn't it? Only a year old. 
I'm not getting hemmed again. Bye, Battle Sphere. I, I guess Jace can flash back to Twister. I'm planning on running out the Rona here. I wonder, I wonder if I chill, hum. Yeah, I'll play it. Oh, they're bizarre over there. Bizarre and Squeeze a classic. Something that I want to do sometime this cube season is is a uh, Bizarre and discard Master of Death and Squeam. Have like an actual draw engine out of it. I think I'm just Fawfin here. I'm very tempted to Luris, but I think Fawfin's better. I'm tempted to Cat, too. Oh, they do have Master of Death and Squeam. Well, good for them. I wonder what their late game plan is. If they've got like a gawk or something. Need these land drops. I guess I could loot here. Uh, sure, TWP. The game has ended. Yeah, we just have too much here, right? We got too much going on. Luris can rebuy everything. World of Phyrexia is not what I was expecting on top of their library. Yeah, I wonder if they're a Tinker Dank or a Show and Tell Dank. I think I'm just going to cast uh, Foff next turn, huh? With the Ancient Tomb. One's got some cool choice in basics. I like all the. Um, 
light in the planes. Real foreground and background type thing. What gas do I have for this E2 term? Battlesphere, I guess. That's some cards, eh? I was gonna take any two action cards here because we got plenty of mana. I'll play a battle sphere. Why not? And the G threatens to flashback the council's judgment or Foff. The last match, we won. Sadly, Caleb won. No, that's not a sadly, that's a good thing. Could have exiled at Hangar Bank. How do I like this iteration of the cube? If this cube was on fire in the street, I would not piss on it to put out the fire. I would merely watch it burn. That is the only way to summarize my hatred for this cube. No, it's, it's fine, it's fine. It's, <laughs> I'm having a good time trying stuff out. Waste of valuable piss, yeah, right? I gotta sell that online. What's the follow-up plan here? A sweeper would kind of make sense, right? That one makes less sense. Nope. You think we should tax bathroom usage? A lot of stores do that already, right? Gotta be a paying customer. You charge your guests for bathroom usage? That sounds appropriate. Hey, TWP, thanks for $4.20. Cool thing about the Sunfall Exile is now that the portal's not going to do anything, huh? I 
And if stuff, some stuff does get into the graveyard, we can always exile with the council's judgment. Or flashback sunfall. Oh, this felt way better than uh, Wrath of God, Atagatag. Wrath of God wouldn't be very good against that portal. Calls are complete. God damn it. Yeah, exiling Stoneforge doesn't do much. They can just cast the damn seven drop. Uh. Really glad they decided to equip there. So another Sunfall is tempting, but them like just equipping Calder complete to things is really brutal. Right now what I'm worried about is the portal getting Magrona and then just like flipping it and killing me with it. Awkward. Yeah, I don't think Sunfall is good here because they get back my Rona and they put the Calder complete on it and murder me, and then they get to like bounce Cryptic Code to their hand every turn. Rona does not exile the flip. I was thinking about Council's Judgment hitting the Cauldra, then flashback on the Cryptic Coat. I guess I could flashback Sunfall and Council's like Council's Judgment the Portal and flashback Sunfall. But then we're just like fucking dead to Cauldra complete Cryptic Coat, right? We're trying to set up a situation to, to win the game, Mazla. You're very welcome, Macarius. Yeah, I'm not actually asking uh, chat for suggestions here. I'm uh, thinking through the turn. To be clear. Oh, shit, what up? Hey, Martarius, thanks for the sob. These are seven months. Again, I'm still not asking chat for suggestions. That's a backseating. We got a rule against it. I uh, said, so don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that. Not asking chat for suggestions. Not asking for opinions here. It's cool that y'all are invested in the game. Yeah, one player to a hand. It's kind of a matter of thinking about what card we most want to lose to there, hum. That doesn't really matter here, w TWP. The Jace is at one loyalty, it can't flashback judgment. Let's play TWP Song Quest. Speaking of, speak of the devil. Nice excuse to turn off Avenge Sevenfold. We're at least hellbent, so flipped Rona won't be able to cast anything. <laughs> but we kill it and they just get it back with Portal again. I 
I do have that one drop. So I'm gonna exile a card from the graveyard. I could rip that here. Exile my own Rona. Get to a spot where I can maybe win a race. Not blocking the 3-2. The unblockable 1-2. Is that... <laughs> Hello. Oh, this could be by the Rona. That seems useful. This Rona has indeed been on a journey. This Rona's gonna need some fucking counseling. The number of times it's like died and switched sides and been blasted through portals and reanimated by a weird, like, cat-dog thing with ten eyes. Ah, um, This relic's here to spoil my fun. Yeah, I kind of dig this track. Blind loose with Rona here could be really bad with the portal. Oh, they still have Ward? That makes tucking so much worse. I was gonna activate Colonnade and force them to block the other one. This is fine. I'll just play the Ward on both. Taking six here means that the colonnade reps lethal next turn by itself. You're gonna send your children off to the Many Tooth King? Cool. Let me know how that uh, goes for you. Real interesting stuff. That game was looking mighty tricky there for a sec. Definitely a Lauren matchup, huh? What do you cut for that? I kind of like Image to copy their Urza. Sunfall looking like extremely good again, right? That's another matchup where like if this Sunfall had been a Wrath, I would have died super hard. Just like not close. I guess I'll cut Zerda for Lauren. Meh! Lucky chat helped you, yikes. Yeah, right, Glorious? It's a good thing chat was here. <laughs> uh. The fox's creature, yeah. One other target, non-fox creature. Can't even exile a mutable. Just got back from the mini-tooth king. Not as fun as it sounds. But there's so many extra teeth. You lose one, just like pick one out of the, the king's mouth, maybe? I don't know. Just an idea. I don't play another one of this uh, Plane Rides Bands song. That track only has 8k views on the YouTube. Their production quality on their music videos is pretty decent. Only 6k streams on that one on Spotify. Oh man, we gotta get those numbers up. I want to keep this hand, but I'm going to mull it. I'm going to mull it. We need fast mana. Our deck's like half fast mana. We need some fast mana. Yeah, whatever. Was that lyric? The royal bats need a hell of a scrub? <laughs> I mean, one mana vault in the hand becomes really good, right? Oh, that's helpful. 
Mr. Fluff and Stuff thinks it's $6.66. Yeah, the horns are really interesting here, huh? Hail, Santa! Yeah, right, Tasty Cactus? It's either, like, the hardest fucking most bullshit thing ever, online dating, or it's, like, the smoothest, easiest thing. Extremely high variance. Oh man. I'm getting, I'm getting my talismans. Rude. The name of the last song by this band? I don't remember. Maybe someone in chat remembers. We have kind of a mirrored board here, huh? Just playing our shit. <laughs> oh man, I want a shark first, but I'll kind, I'll kind, I'll kind it up. Urza has come to party. Oh, I thought they were going to link Minecraft and Strike. Hmm. All right. You like that bouncing and twisting? It's kind of cool, huh? Pun's gonna have some good shit to run out now, though. Not like give him a fresh one. All right, I'm gonna set a stop on my upkeep. I'm gonna pause the autoplay. I'm gonna play Mr. Fluff and Stuff's song request here. Joni Mitchell. Or is it again? Fair enough. You love Twister? Me too, right? What a twist. Hmm. What's this attack about? Yeah, I thought it kind of looked like a time walk attack, too. It's been a game. Karak is back my shark here, huh? What did they exile him? Council judgment, cool. I guess I'll play around days. Still get rocked by Spell Pierce, of course. Yeah, Shark's been doing fucking well, huh? I do have a few incubators, yeah. It's all God's plan. I 
Do they smack me to five, or do they clear the Karn? I mean, if they don't clear the Karn, then I just gotta get my Council's Judgment, right? Hmm. If they win the call to complete, they replay it in a couple turns, and it's kind of rough. Wait, when did this come on, come up? Seven? I have an incubator for seven. What the fuck was that? Sunfall? Sunfall should be five, right? Oh, the creatures. The creatures for Sunfall. Sure, sure. Twelve, sixteen. All right. Right? Yeah. All right, guess I'll just kill you. Thing to do. Uh, <laughs> uh, I want to keep this so bad. If that Zerta was a Luris, huh? If that Zerta was a Luris, I'd be about it. God damn it. God damn it. You're dressing? You're gonna take my one fucking thing? Yeah, it is it is your right. Well, I guess I'm glad I didn't keep the fucking <laughs> The Black Lotus no land hand. <laughs> that probably would have been a worse spot. Magic is a fun game, yeah. I'm gonna leave this lantern in play for a while. It'd be nice to draw a card, but what if they're a reanimated deck? What if this card's worth like 10 cards? What if this card just bricks their whole deck? We drew the Teferi, yeah, right? If they don't discard the mana vault, we have a turn two Teferi with this drawn. Would have been real solid. Sure. A putty tat. Kind of looks like they're holding up counter magic. Hell yeah, TWP. I'm getting a pretty good place, too. Getting a healthy buzz rolling. This is the third round, too, huh? For the trophy. Be nice to play the colonnade here, so we'd have to fairy mana next turn. We might draw mana next turn anyway, though, right? I'm not gonna play like a coward. Life's too short. This colonnade might be sweet. Currently, the Strix is breaking it, but who knows what the board's gonna look like like five turns from now, right? Bird. Strix is so good. One of the things I dislike about uh, orcs, orc orcish archers, or bowmasters, whatever, whatever the fuck that card's called, is that it went, made Strix uh, like not really a legacy staple anymore. Well, that's kind of interesting. Should I cast it? Yeah, why not?
you miss eating the Merc Tides with Quaddle. Yeah, right? Kind of a cool period in Legacy history. Woo! Was I supposed to sack the Soul Guide Lantern in response to that activation? Probably. Definitely. <laughs> Yeah, Tom, I uh, I helped promote that Kickstarter. I got those sticks from it. Ah, oh well. <laughs> Did not mean to click the the kill all or whatever. Reanimator vibes? What, just because of their reanimation effects, their discard outlets, and their Atraxa, you think they're reanimator? Hell yeah, can I win? Aw, oh, man. Yep. Yeah, both fine options can I win. They're not cracking the Soul Guide Lantern. Probably wrong. I guess I've been getting near Battle Sphere with E2 during. Well, it would let me block this troll, maybe. I think I'm fucked, actually. I think the death ride just drains me out. I could give myself, like, one draw towards Sunfall, but I'm fine just packing. Next! I'm gonna cut Zerda and play another Sweeper. Oh, she went up. Hey, Moose Plural. Thanks the Sod. Thanks the six months there. The half a year. You would have been sick when they had the tracks it down, huh? I guess. Crocus is kind of good against uh, tracks anyway. Still worth reanimating, just not, like, not nearly as good without the 7-7 seven, seven body, hum. Huh? Oh, hell yeah. Interesting force negation there. Sign of weakness with their hand, I guess. Like the. Well, it wasn't threatening to do much, though. Like they could have just played Strix this turn. I was surprised they didn't activate the Death Rite on my end of turn, too. I guess all the forest drain me. Death Rite activations add up. Put on pitching Shallow Grave Exhum. Oh, shit, what up? Hey, DCM Dame. Thanks for the sod. Thanks 87 months. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. We getting mana drained? Sure. I 
Oh, we'll see what they do with the mana, right? Cast a troll or something. Spirit. Pretty soon the colony can start getting in. Like me the sound of that. Oh yeah, she love him answer. Well, there's the attract some. Would you like to reanimate set attract some? Bit much sand? Yeah, a bit much, huh? You got it, friend. Kind of looks like my image is going to resolve. I thought this Oracle is interesting, especially with the Bizarre, huh? Force Will is in the cube. Yeah, one of the better cards. One of the better non-power cards, I think. Not in the top 20, but like right behind it. Uh oh! Well, hmm. Yeah, Seed Shark and uh, Luris are both tempting here. I think that's the main decision point with this hand, right? And with this group of cards, is whether or not you want the Luris or the Seed Shark. Oh, shit, what up? Hey, Charlie Walnut, thanks for 76 months. Spirit. <clears throat> I think I like the shark better. I think the shark's good. I don't think we need the mana from Laris. It is cute that we can bounce it uh, with Caracas, though. Laris. Before one of our sweepers. Well, that is fucking adorable. All right, all right, all right. I actually don't know if I rebuy the bobble or the black lotus. I fired off the bobble thinking I was just gonna rebuy that and draw another card. I guess we want the lotus hub. Some stupid amount of mana next turn. How can they win this game? Song does rip TWP, you're not wrong. That's his oracle. Ah, uh, doomsday. Interesting. Well, the twister doesn't necessarily win yet. We'll see. Uh, see how they do here. The bizarre being able to immediately draw into the doomsday pile is kind of cute. Well, bizarre into the oracle doesn't work. They have to be bizarre, and then they um. They would have three cards left. It's not enough to win with the Oracle. Mm. They had a probe in their hand. Sure, we'll fucking make them play it, huh? Mm, Alright. Boo. Yeah, they weren't literally winning this turn. I liked E-Tutoring for the Graveyard Hoser. 
and then nuke their graveyard and twist her for the win. Pretty cute, Doomsday plus Bizarre. I was feeling pretty good about this game until we lost out of us all of a sudden. Let's see, it's almost eleven. Let's do a let's do a draft for future meme. I like that plan. 